Before installing Oracle Traffic Director, be sure that you've met the system requirements and certification matrix, and that you've made all of the prerequisite installations. You can install using either the graphical or silent mode. We're going to use the Oracle Universal Installer. Download the product distribution from OTN or Oracle Software Delivery Cloud onto your target system. Oracle Linux 64-bit for Unix and Windows 64-bit for Windows. Launch a command line terminal on your computer. Go to the directory where you downloaded the product distribution and launch the installer. Specify the path of your central inventory. The Oracle Central Inventory stores information about all Oracle software products installed in all Oracle homes on your system, provided that the products were installed with the Oracle Universal Installer. Next, select the group that should have access to the Central Inventory directory. On the Welcome screen, click Next. You can opt to skip auto-updates or choose Select Patches from a directory if you've already downloaded the latest software updates. Specify the location and search. If you have a My Oracle Support account, you can choose to have the installer automatically search for software updates for your installation. Sign in with your My Oracle Support account name and password. Specify whether you connect to the internet with a proxy server and enter the details. Test the connection. Search for required bootstrap patches. The installer prompts you to quit and restart the installer. Required application patches appear later in the installation. On the Installation Location screen, specify the location of the Oracle Home Directory. Select Standalone OTD if you're installing Oracle Traffic Director in a standalone domain or installing it in a remote node of a co-located domain. Or select Co-Located OTD if you're installing Oracle Traffic Director in a WebLogic server domain on the Administration Server node. On the Installation Location screen, you can select the JDK file for the OTD to run after installation. The host computer is analyzed to ensure that specific operating system prerequisites have been met. Fix any errors and click Rerun. The feature sets you selected are displayed along with the approximate amount of disk space that will be used by those sets once installation is complete. You can choose to save this configuration in a response file, which can be used later for a silent installation. Now, you're ready to install. When the installation is finished, View the final summary or close the installer. That's it. Oracle Traffic Director is installed. Thank you for watching. <laughs>